Gold has been moving on a side range, uh, especially from yesterday. We have seen it going up and down and then up and down again and then up again, basically. And I'm talking about this particular structure on an hourly time frame. And this one, A, B, C, and then up again. So the way it has directed from the previous low, and it has created a higher low, and now we can see that the higher low has been created. So what does that all mean? That, that does that mean that we're expecting gold to crash all the way down? Is it going to go happen? No, I don't think so that's happening now. So our fr first path that we are, uh, where we concluded on our one of the analysis, and I gave it as one of the alternate count, it looks more probable now that that's going to happen. Gold is expected to go up now as long as the price stays above the pit this particular low. In that case, we are looking for the price of gold to go up and create a high, maybe high beyond this particular top. But the direction of trend of gold or short term is definitely going to go that. Now, the bottom that I gave uh, that's going to happen on February 14th or 15th is definitely going to happen. The only problem or where about is that bottom going to happen. Is that bottom going to happen go around $1,500 or we go up and then prices fall back and we find a bottom ourselves around 14th or 15th. So the exact price path is uh, what we are looking at right now. Couple of indicators. First we said that okay we have seen prices decline, a correction and then we we'll expect prices to go down. But as we can see now the prices have been rejection. There's an important hint on a fundamental level though. Uh, the Bank of England raised the interest rates and still we have not seen the price action to follow. That means the um, inflation data is actually taking over. That worries are actually taking over. The bulls that are representing the inflation concerns are actually taking over the even uh, the interest rate decisions from banks. So that means it's not you and me who are looking at that fundamental data and you're looking at their gold is expectedly it did drop it did drop but it did not stay there what does that mean that means that bulls came in that and, and wh what are those bulls those bulls are actually concerned about the inflation uh, the money printing that has been printed in last uh, couple of years or a, or at least a year uh, and they are really concerned about the value of US dollar uh, <coughs> in that case we are definitely seeing the price of gold to go up so I give, I did give a couple of, uh, first of all, this flag pattern, uh, and I did indicate that it looks like that flag pattern is going to be um, uh, negated. The price is going to go above, and then price is going to go up right over here. Uh, so we need to understand: is the price is going to fall, uh, go away from this top? There is a possibility that it will actually go up and then follow. Uh, come down both things are possible at this point first of all it can go up and come all the way down right over here and form what we're exactly looking for and the second thing that's possible is that price is gonna go up right over here uh, we have a couple of highs that we're looking for one is right over here and one is right over here so we can expect prices to do just that oh, give me a moment If price actually goes beyond that right over here, then we can expect prices to form a zigzag or a flat pattern on top of it. So this is possible, this is perfectly possible. And the second thing that can happen is that when price actually goes up, it finds the resistance around that area and then it falls back to the create another low. So both things are possible. This is what I'm talking about. This low that you are talking about or this low you're talking about is going to expect it to be on fall on February 14th or 15th. Exact path we have for the exact path of the prices we have to look a little closely. And right now I'm bullish in next couple of days for for gold and you're strict gonna keep an eye strictly on gold and there's the good news for silver as well definitely I'm looking at a pattern where double bottom is being formed on a smaller time frame and we have already seen this pattern on a different direction for gold as well if you guys are aware of it we have seen first top and a smaller to another top on a smaller time frame and then we have seen huge price movement coming down 
so there is a possibility could there be possibility that we are seeing exactly the same pattern I think that's exactly that we are looking at right now we are looking at a low and a high and a lower low on a smaller time frame and then we can probably see that a b uh, c or w x and y and then we are expecting um, for the price of silver to go rise up in this range let's have a look on a daily time frame and then once again see what is expected of silver couple of things that once again are possible first silver could actually go all the way uh, right over here and give us a correction it could be zigzag or a flat we can see it come down up low, go this way and then come down this is the possibility we can push it a little further to give us a new top and this top is by once again expected to be around 14th or 15th February and there's another path that we can see from over here price would go off and reject it once again and then we will see a bottom forming in this area and there's another probability that price will come all the way down over here give us a bottom right over here in this range so all three possibilities are there it depends once again how further the bulls are going to push prices of silver and gold and similarly we are seeing a similar pattern for the price of gold as well there is a possibility that price will come all the way down over here the second possibility is third possibility that price actually would come and stay on top of this so we have two tops right now one is right over here and one is right over here and we have a bottom right one right over here and one right over here if a new bottom is expected in that case price would go up and fall all the way that back all the way back down if another top is not expected in that case we are expecting for the price to go up and form a top uh, form a bottom below before above this particular top and the third option is that price can go actually all the way up and form a top before above this particular top we are looking at a similar situation on this one I'll have to come back and uh, I would say I'll have to back off from my very bearish look on miners as well gold miners I gave a very bad uh, bearish outlook on this and we are very very close to the all of this is happening because we are very very close to the uh, end of the the pattern that we are looking for the accumulation pattern and all of this is really really messy so we are taking one wave at a time wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye